Hello everyone, Derek Sam Toys, and we are back with another action figure review. I'm doing this one way later than I planned to, but to be honest, life has not been the best, I guess you could say. I'm sure I've mentioned that in a few other videos, perhaps, over the past number of days. But today, we've got the Elite Series 109 Dominic Mysterio. Of course, we do own the other Elite Dominic Mysterio. We'll just kind of get him up in here for a little bit of a reference shot, I guess, when unneeded. But, you know, pretty excited to get this in hand. Only missing two more figures out of this wave, so maybe we'll get that eventually. Of course, I don't want to ramble on too much. I would love to just get into this figure review and, well, let's be honest, we're going to do that right now. Alrighty, you guys, now that we've gotten Dominic Mysterio up out of his plastic prison, and we've gotten all the accessories laid out. Why don't we get into all that now, shall we? First things first, we've got a set of fist hands. Of course, some really nice detail. And a detail I want to say they actually missed out on when it came to the last Dominic. And that was actually having the knuckle tattoos on the fist. Both hands look pretty damn good. I can't say too much bad about them is what it is happy that the detail is there that wasn't on the last one because if i recall correctly those same hands didn't include the finger tattoos of course he does also come with a pair of sunglasses nothing to write home really about those but the two cool accessories we've got is this plastic little bandana the purple bandana that goes around his face and all that good shish got some nice detail up in here it is a harder material say like compared to the hangman face mask if I can pull them out of the little figure pile here because I haven't cleaned up my display here in a little bit but yeah so that's kind of a like interesting thing to think about how they went about doing that compared to like AEW's variation of it and you've also got the nice flannel long sleeve jacket that also has a collar popping up on it I don't know why it's popping up but there we go now it's down it is a really nice soft material it almost does feel genuinely like a flannel which is kind of crazy of course can only hook up from the top though so that's kind of a bit weird to think about but honestly at the end of the day it's not the weirdest part of this figure because I don't know exactly how accurate it is but there's no design on the torso piece like I don't see any designing whatsoever oh there is a little bit of design just a DM on the back so, I mean, if that's accurate to this attire, maybe I'll stop bitching about it, but I do feel very weird knowing that that is the case and ordeal with this figure. Especially seeing this really nice head scan, you've got the nice long updated hair, or well, nice for some people, I don't really care for the hairstyle too, too much. It, it's just very weird looking, I don't know what to think about it, but you know what? gets him over so yeah I can't really say too much about the head skin looks nice and accurate it's got the little tattoo drawn on thing underneath his eye all the tattoos are looking really good as well including this bicep tattoo because it is a little misprinted on the older elite but all of his tattoo detail it looks good the Mysterio bird things on the legs look good. The Judgment Day logos on the kick pads look good. It all looks really good. It's just very bare minimum in color, I guess you could say. Maybe if there's like some gray outlining somewhere on the torso top, it would have looked a hell of a lot better, but meh. Of course, it does articulate smooth as butter. I have no complaints here. 
Of course, the pinless joints are going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but what can you really say about them? At the end of the day, though, why don't we get into posing them up and we can get into our final thoughts on this figure now, shall we? Just a little side note for some of you who may have wanted to see this head scan onto this Elite. It definitely does suit the figure quite nice and I definitely do plan on using both Elites at this rate for the Fed. Just don't know exactly which one I would use in the debut. But either way this will be the head scan I do use when they do debut so you can keep that in mind. Kind of the same concept here, just taking a quick gander at the head scan swaps. And I mean it's not the worst, definitely do not plan on using this head scan though, I don't know why, but this hair looks way worse than the other one in my opinion, so yeah there's that. Alrighty you guys, now that we've got the Dominic Mysterio all posed up, we've got him alongside his Judgment Day buddies. And well, let's be honest, the accessories alone on this figure definitely carry the blank canvas that it was pretty much given. Of course, it is not as good as this Elite in my opinion, though the one tattoo misplacement is kind of meh, along with not having the knuckle tattoos on the fisted hands that came with these. At least I want to say so, feel free to, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But when it comes down to it at the end of the day, this Dominic is definitely a decent pickup if you really want that head scan. Of course, I do want to say there is a couple of basic figures out there that have this head scan now. So if you really wanted to, I could say maybe pick up one of those basic figures of the Dominic to swap for the head scans if you really want it that bad. and. Say maybe the bandana and the flannel jacket don't really mean all that much to you, especially the sunglasses, just because we get those with almost any figure that wears sunglasses. Hell, we got a pair with Dave Batista multiple times. You know, we've gotten plenty of sunglasses. In fact, I have so many I don't even exactly remember the number. It's at least probably double digits, though. Now with that being said, the attire itself is kind of bland, as I already mentioned, and honestly when it comes down to it at the end of the day, I I don't know, what would I give this figure on a scale of 1 to 10? I'd probably have to give him a good solid 7.5. He's definitely a good figure to pick up if you do not have any of the Dominics, let alone if you want a updated Dominic, but if you can and you can find them for a decent price, I honestly recommend this one a bit more if you're looking for something that's a bit more of a flashier attire, but if you if you're like displaying it, I think this would definitely be more your forte. Either way, if you're going for pick fed, they both pose around pretty well, of course, you've got the standard double joints, bicep swivel, wrist articulation, ankle articulation, boot rotation, you've got all the bells and whistles when it comes to this Dominic, you're not really missing out on anything that you don't get with the previous Dominic though. Of course, besides the very, very nice accessories. And on that note though, what would I give it on a Meltzer rating? The good old star rating. On a scale of 1 to Young Buck match, I gave him a good 7.5 out of 10, right? So I think it's only fair that we give him a good 3.5. And, and with that being said, I don't really have too much more left to say. So, you know, feel free to give me what your opinion is in the comment section below. And on that note... I think we're going to try to wrap this one up a little bit earlier, so if you liked the video, feel free to like the video. If you did not like the video, well, womp womp, I guess, but if you did like the video, feel free to check out some of my other content, such as action figure, pick fed content, we've got unboxing videos, and of course, action figure reviews. Plenty of different things to watch here on the channel. Depending on what your taste is, maybe you like all that kind of content. I do also have playlists for a few of those things, so 
feel free to go check those out if you want to maybe binge watch a lot of them or whatever the case may be. And with that being said, two more things. If you would like to, feel free to go follow me on Instagram. And the big thing, of course, I at least the big thing as of the past few videos, if you guys would like to, feel free to subscribe. After all, it is free to subscribe. We are currently on the road to 250 subscribers. We're trying to reach that goal by August 18th, which is the two-year anniversary of the channel so you know it would be a great big help if you guys would you know subscribe definitely get me in the mood to try to get this content out a bit faster especially with how the week is of course not going to go into that because i don't think you guys want to hear all about my personal bish you just want to hear about the figs and with that being said we are out of here, so have a good rest of your night, day, evening, whatever the case may be. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really matter, though, because I'm not in your time zone. I just know it is late as fuck here. Kind of fucked up my outro, but who cares? Off is the direction you can fuck if you really want to. Just kidding. Just kidding. Or am I? And on that note, deuces, ooses, wink. Yeah, you thought I forgot about you, Rhea. Wasn't gonna let you slide.